So, <laughs> here I am, barely awake, running low on sleep. And I've mentioned it so many times in so many videos, I thought I'd finally get around to the tea video. Now, I drink a lot of green tea. However, I don't stick to any particular green tea for my basic through the day green tea use. It's generally just whatever I can afford. Although at some point, I'm going to get to a Japanese grocery store again and purchase some Japanese style actual green tea instead of this American stuff in packets just to see what the taste difference is like and the preparation difference. Now, it's probably time we shut off this trippy multicolored blur effect because I'm not talking about any weird teas. Or even kombucha, which, while well, okay, is just not my thing. Now, for basic, out and about through the day, I need a tea to drink. Stopping at a gas station, I go for Arizona diet green tea with ginseng and honey and a big big, uh, huge, even, cans, because it's like 99 cents, and it'll last you most of the day. Now, if I'm not going to have access to that, I don't think I'll be stopping by a gas station, or I don't know if the gas stations I'm stopping at are going to have it, get a water bottle, one of them little packets you pour in, Arizona, green tea with ginseng. I'm kind of a fan of ginseng. And green tea has a lot of benefits. It isn't really that bad. For it warm, you're on hot days, you know, kind of got to drink it cold. Now, the other three teas I'm going to show in this video, the ones that I use the most and recommend the most, and you'll probably have the greatest ease finding, are uh, by the Celestial Seasonings brand. Uh, good stuff. Of course, I start my day off. It's got the buffalo on it with morning thunder. Great alternative to coffee. Does not leave you having the jitters. Smells really good. Tastes really good. Goes down smooth. Good stuff. Wakes you up good. No shakes, no jitters, no sick feeling. Like, you, you, you take coffee, it's more like uh, everything's trying to fall asleep. You've got that tingly sensation, so you can't hold still. And when you try to sleep, it just won't let you. You're not really more awake quite frequently with coffee, although uh, the right of mixture of coffee and energy drinks and what have you, and you can get woke up for driving so you're awake and aware and ready to react. But really, when it's just coffee, for the most part, you're, you're kind of a zombie running around like a robot. It's just it's so drowsy and I'm just thinking about sleep and, uh, you know, brain not working jittery and you can't sleep when you try. That's not good. This stuff actually wakes me up. I feel pretty good. Great way to start a day. Now, when it comes time to go to sleep, sleepy time green. Decaffeinated. It's got some jasmine to it, some lemon. Uh, real soothing, gentle tea really does help you get drowsy and fall asleep and stay asleep. Good stuff. The other one I use most, because I have allergies, Sleepy Time Sinus Soother. It, you go to sleep with a stomach full of this, and as you breathe, kind of a menthol, soothing vapors, you breathe better in your sleep and stay clear longer. Good stuff. Now they have a regular sleepy time and then they have a sleepy time extra for when you're having a bout of insomnia and that stuff really does the trick. Uh, although I stick to them. These three. Um, and there's also a sleepy time throat tamer for sore throats and coughs. They, they've got a lot of really good teas. A whole bunch of other flavors I've branched out and tried. I always go back to these three. Really recommend them. Usually anywhere from two thirty-five to four bucks in price. Although in some larger cities it might get above five. And you get oh I think twenty bags. Let's see. 
Yeah, 20 bags, and they're just the square, drop it in the cup and let it sink style. No strings to mess with. Uh, you only got to steep them three to six minutes like most teas. They work really well. If you've got a problem with your bladder waking you up in your sleep a lot, then I would suggest if you're going to use a sleepy time tea, take it two hours before you go to bed, and then you'll keep falling asleep and waking up to use the restroom for those two hours, and after that you shouldn't wake up anymore. But that's, you know, if you really have a problem with uh, having anything in your bladder, then you got to get up and use the restroom over and over and over, or toilet room, what have you. Uh, anybody wants to talk about, uh, there went my voice a little, trying to stifle a yawn. I'm sorry, viewers. <laughs> uh, very drowsy. I'm not going to need the sleepy tea after this video. Um, anyway, anybody wants to talk teas, get a hold of me. Uh, you have a favorite tea? Post it in the video response or in the comments. You try these out, maybe do a video review. Um, you know, you can even cook up a cup and try it out and show your reaction on camera. I could have done that, but I've had them so many times I knew how I was going to react. And, you know, I would have used this standby coffee mug. I haven't ordered my teacup with lid just yet. Um, yeah. You can find these at Walmart. Uh, I generally go to other stores first. Uh, I was surprised. A lot of places carry this brand. A lot. And don't be afraid to ask. If they stock this, chances are they can get in these things. Most places start off with just the variety packs by this brand and wait until they hear something from a customer. So sometimes it pays off to say, hey, uh, who does the ordering for this department? I'd like to talk to them if they're in. Oh, they're not? Okay, well, could you tell them uh, you got a customer interested in Morning Thunder or Sleepy Time teas by the Celestial brand? These. I generally find in dollar stores. I'm not sure where else they would be. I haven't even looked for them in Walmart. Who knows? Uh, more likely they would just carry the cans already. And it's good to have those packets for when you're going to be on flight. Uh, you might even just be taking off all of a sudden. You know, on a spur of the moment trip. I probably already said, like I was talking like I was going to and all that <laughs> at some point. I've been doing that a lot lately. I used to, uh, would spend most of the day thinking how I was going to do the video, and then only do one video. Already have it planned out and ran through in my head. Might spend a minute doing some basic rehearsing of key points before turning on the camera. And it was smoother videos. However, I think I'm doing quite well this style of just getting the idea of oh I'm going to do a video on tea and then sitting down and doing it. I've noticed I say um, uh, and but a little too much and I am working on that. Uh, now that I've said that everybody's going to pick out a million uses of those words in my previous videos and probably notice them in my future ones. The curtain has been lifted Oz. <laughs> Tea. Get back to me on the tea. I I do like tea. Tea's good. A lot better for you than most sodas. Thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this one and found it interesting. Sorry it took me so long to get to the tea video.